That's why this is the way I live. Because what God says in the Bible, and He experiences me, and He has given me power to live, to have a victorious life, whatsoever, environment, situation, those things, nothing bothered to me. Because I have His power to overcome. See, that's why God says, Rise up, my children. Get out of the well. Well or wall. <laughs> and come with me. That's His promise. When you rise up, I'll be with you. I will guide you. I will lead you all the days of your life. That's His promise. Do we believe that? Amen. That's what God is telling Shulamite woman. Come with me. And then he will do, notice verse 11, winter is past and the rains are over. What these words refer in the Bible? Winter, rains, hardships, difficulties in our lives are gone. The new days, new songs of the birds, right here, flowers are spring up, the season of singing birds. Oh, this melody. <laughs> you know, in San Canaan area, close by 405, there is a wilderness. Now it's turning into purple and violet color flowers, wild flowers. So beautiful. So beautiful. I cannot take my eyes off of that while I was driving. <laughs> it's dangerous. You never do that. <laughs> But sooner or later, it's going to cover with purple and violet, all the areas. You know, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is using the illustrations. Look at the wildflower on the field, and look at the birds in the air. Who's going to take care of them? My Father who is in heaven. See, wildflowers and birds, have special provision from God. But what about you and I? We are more than that, Jesus said that, because we are created in His image. Hallelujah. So we need to take off our old self, put on a new self, and let by the Spirit live by the Spirit. See, many, many places in the New Testament He's saying that. Without experiencing the power of God, you cannot put on a new self. But when we wake up, get out of the wall that we build, and to serve others in the world, then God's going to do it for you. Winter, all the problem is solved. Nothing's going to just block us. Not because of ourselves, but because of His power and His promise. He said He's going to do it for us. Do we believe that? See, we must have desire in our hearts to know who God is. She may not understand what was the meaning of leaping over the mountains and bounding over the hills. But now she's beginning to understand because God came and invited her to wake up, rise up, and I'll be with you. Come with me all the way through. 
and then winter is past, problem will be solved because he's going to do it. He's going to take care of all the things in our lives. Rains are over, flowers are spring up, birds has come, dove fills the air. Dove refers to Holy Spirit. The presence of Holy Spirit. Whenever Holy Spirit appears, He has troop of angels to serve us. That's what the book of Hebrews says. And then the fragrant grapevines, He said, rise up. Come with me. In other words, I'll be with you. This is promise. One more thing, God revealed the call to live for God. 14 and 15. It's in the middle part. Let me see your face. That's his desire toward his own children. And let me hear your voice. This is the just loving dialogue between God and us all day long. God, I thank you. Although I face difficulties because of your power and your guidance, I give thank you to you. Thank you for providing me. Thank you for pr protecting me while I'm on the highway. Although I'm weak, I am powerless. But thank you, God. You gave me enough grace to live even today. See, so that's the dialogue between God and us. We know that we set aside time to pray, but all day long, God wants to see our face and to hear our voice. What does that mean to today's Christians? Do we ever turn our face to God? God wants to see our face. That's His desire. He just jumps up to come into His beloved ones. Right in front of me. He wants me to look at Him and ask for His help and guidance. He has everything to do for us. He's ready to do that. But do we ever ask for His help? Do we ever invite Him into our lives to have loving conversations? See, without experiencing the power of God in our lives, there is nothing happening. You cannot grow spiritually in Christ. In Christ meaning what? Christ is anointed one. Whenever you are in Christ, God anoints you. Meaning that God pour out His wisdom, heavenly things, spiritual things to you and I to understand. But you're not in Christ. There is no anointing. That's why we live with our own knowledge and skills abilities. But God wants to look at our face. Do you all believe that God is with you right now? Amen. Can you see His face? No. <laughs> but Job confessed here, now I see your face, God. I was hearing your voice, but now I can see your face. See, when you are in deep relationship, deeper fellowship with God, you could sense Him. But one danger is that don't lock the Lord within yourself in the box. We need to get out of that box and serve others by His grace. See, only thing when we are in Christ, meaning 